than a week, the Hayden Pass fire has forced evacuees from their homes. That fire is now 50% contained. Earlier this week, a majority of people were allowed to return home. This morning, the remainder of the evacuees were allowed back. KRDO News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi spoke with evacuees as they made their way home. We're standing on County Road 6, and this is where evacuees are allowed to return. Initially, 140 homes were evacuated, and now everyone can go home. The last time many of these people were driving on County Road 6 was to escape the Hayden Pass fire burning close to their homes. I'd say five miles from my house. So it was scary, and it was got, it, the sooner it grew, the faster it grew, the scarier it got. After being evacuated for 11 days, driving back on the road that brought Stephanie Jones so much fear is now bringing her relief. I honestly couldn't be happier and re grown much respect for the men and women that fought this fire to get us back in the house. There are signs all over this community thanking firefighters for their hard work, and many evacuees tell us how grateful they are. There's never enough th thank yous for the firefighters and, um, and all the people. I mean, just so many people have been so good to us. Melody Tzak is one of dozens who lined up early Thursday morning to get home. It's hard to come close to losing your home after 50 years of living in that area, so... Um, I never really thought my house was going to burn, but you never know. It's been a team effort from both evacuees and authorities to get people home safely and in a timely manner. We want to thank them very much. They've been very patient, understanding with us through this, and we're just happy that they're able to go home and that they have homes to go to. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office will continue to monitor the area and only allow evacuees to go through the roadblocks. The Cuddy's Campground and Rainbow Trail Lutheran Camp remain closed. We'll have more on that coming up on News Channel 13 at 10. Reporting in Coldale, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13.